I think that the arts offered here are an integral part of the community because it brings people together. It's a way for people to express statements or emotions that they can't otherwise say, and it's fun. Students will learn how to follow through all the steps of a process, and I hope that they can learn self-discipline. I think the school offers a lot of things to use in art. And I mean, we have facilities like the clay studio, like the art studio, like the theater that let you do what you want to do. It's very open-ended. If I want to run lights, I can. If I want to act on stage, I can, or be backstage. It's a very good opportunity to grow and, and become the artist I want to be. They offer a lot of inks, watercolors, paints, so many materials, and so you can really express yourself in any way that you want to. You get to choose your own art that you want to take, and so being able to choose theater. I learned to love theater through my class, and so that's how I got interested in the arts in the first place. The faculty here will help you and give you all sorts of materials and resources that you need. After we get past the technical demonstration, to try to work with a kind of um, goal of being in the zone, of having the experience where they're not aware of their peers, they're not worrying about what's going to happen when they're done, but they have that gift, that experience of being in the zone. Definitely, actually in sixth grade, when we went out into the res and we were doing watercolor there, I just, I felt like really calm and it just felt nice to be out there because the breeze was flowing and you could just see the res and you weren't forced to draw the res, you just wanted to do it. And we also talk about the fact that that's not just them, it's not just right now, it's, that's what happens to artists across the world. So you're creating this giant shared experience. They've allowed themselves to connect seriously with the process of making, with finding a voice, with looking or experiencing or remembering, and that's what people across the world do. The skills I've learned in film class, like the main skill is kind of keeping your composure because I can like mess up on something and know that it's not like the end of the world. I think it's wonderful when they when they see that that you can fail and you can grow from that. Students can, with Mr. Holloman, develop a play in a really organic way. We just took it upon myself to go ahead and write plays so that everybody who wants to be in a play can have a speaking role. Even though we're um, saying lines that someone else wrote for us, we are developing our own sense of who the character is, and so that makes all of us feel like actual artists instead of students that are memorizing lines. It's do you want do you want to make a commitment to just create some art? Um, if you want to be in a play, you sign up and you're in, and that's it. And we will so, make it work. Exactly. I definitely learned throughout theater to be more expressive and confident with myself. I've come out of my shell a lot at this school, and and I'm really happy. About that. I'm grateful for that. Getting a a uh, production done and actually having something that you can point to at the end that's actually good and worthwhile is something that I'll take with me through everything that I do in my life. Patience. Yes. Patience. Yes. <laughs> um, because, you know, just making one thing takes a really long time. All it truly takes, as Picasso said, is perseverance. Almost every photograph that students take will be seen by almost everybody in the class. Um, and so very quickly they become very comfortable sharing their work with 14, 15 other classmates. And I think that's the best part of all sorts of art, is people are proud of what they do, but they want to show others. It's like when you do something, like when you work on a project, and people compliment you, you feel good about yourself, and then you compliment other people. Because and art is such a community bonding experience. There is something in the world of creativity, in the world of the arts, that helps to inform how we see the rest of the world. We're not just teaching our student art, we're getting them to think of themselves as artists. Art is a universal language and they all learn to speak it and to communicate whatever it is that they have to communicate. And everyone here is open to that and they want to see what others can bring. And so a student, I would tell them that they're wanted, like their art is wanted. They, people want to see what they can do and want to respect it and enjoy it.